Hello everyone, and this is just a basic crystal radio set, it's something I made absolutely years ago. Um, it was someone called Nikola Tesla's inventions, that were well over 100 years ago this one was patented. And basically a lot of people see it as a free energy, if you like. But it really isn't, although it can be harnessed. Basically, you have radio waves coming in from the aerial, and they're scattered all over the place, um, which in turn induces a current in this coil, which isn't quite as vigorous, really. Um, this coil can be adapted to cut off either ends so that you can basically tune your radio um, a fixed. Um, I have a fixed capacitor in mine here but generally they can be variable to further tune the radio. Um, my aerial connection on my particular one is there but although it doesn't make a blind bit of difference to the point we simply have a diode here which effectively chops off the top of that signal that it gets to a piezo electric high resistance speaker and that effectively gives us a positive charge here with some negative ions now before we used to have a crystal nowadays they actually just use a geranium diode here instead of the crystal but geranium diodes in the cells are leaky they can reverse the flow of this whole section here it can leak back to steady the um the charge here now what makes this useful is more important to us oh a further adaptation of the circuit would be simply to do this. And here's one I pre prepared earlier. I like to call it the Tesla tree. And it is simply a couple of capacitors with effectively a full bridge rectifier. Exactly the same circuit as the previous one, near enough, just with a couple of capacitors in, electrolytic capacitors on top, to um, give us a, a positive and negative voltage, which you can sort of see up in the top corner here. Um, I'm just going to connect standard aerial, cheap pound shop aerial. And I've got these the wrong way around, the uh, leads, but as you can see, as I pull the aerial up, we start to get voltage. If I influence it a bit, simply wave it about, I can get up to half a volt. And I suppose this voltage could be stored. Um, I've seen a lot with tinfoil ones on, so I'll just quickly show you the tinfoil. Just basically a wire connected to a bit of tin foil. And again, not great, but if you wave it, it quite a bit more, you can imagine how this could be useful, maybe. Maybe not. It's not quite a lot of power really. Not a lot of voltage either. There is there is basically ways around that. Again, as before, there is simple explanations for this at the top here. We have a very erratic behaviour across the sine wave. As it goes through these capacitors, it gets smoothed out a bit. And as it goes through the corresponding diodes, it either chops off top or 
power chops off bottom with a, a zero volts there effectively. Um, as I said, there's not a lot of voltage. There's not a lot of power. Um, there is a more simple aluminium plate one that is a lot easier to build. I just cannot seem to find it. I'll draw it right quick. So you've got an alu plate going into effectively another bridge rectifier with a capacitor electrolytic I'm believing across the top so that you have a, a voltage, a DC voltage there that goes down to ground obviously and you basically have a bridge rectifier there with plus and minus or the other way around um, whichever I always seem to get them the wrong way um, there's nothing else much to say other than I'm going to investigate crystals a lot more um, if we can discuss how this could possibly be useful obviously there's not much voltage or current but you can put them in series like this to add your voltage like a battery and I suppose you could bank these into parallel as well to um, uh, to add some current but again it's not very much and I don't think it's particularly practical especially with the uh, storage and things we have to do but discuss below thanks